Hey guys, Joey here with Joe's RV Tech DIY. Today we're working on a side-by-side -side Norcold refrigerator. It had a fault code L1OP, and um, as some of you may or may not know, that means that typically it's the high limit has been tripped. Um, and on this one, it definitely was tripped, but um, I always inspect the cooling unit and sometimes it needs to be serviced. We check for blockages uh, in the ventilation and other things before we do anything as far as addressing the high limit being tripped. So this one here, we found that it indeed does need a new cooling unit. As you can see, it has lost everything. You see all this yellow stuff here? That is bad. So if this thing was to be not inspected and somebody came along and just reset the high limit switch, it's just gonna trip again or even worse, um, you know, it can cause a fire if the, the high limit switch doesn't do its job. But thankfully, Norcold's pretty good about um, having safety features on these refrigerators. And so we got to give them credit on that. This refrigerator uh, is a 2002, I believe. Um, I want to say it's a 2002 because the, the fifth wheel is a 2002. So it had a nice long life before this happened. And, um, you know, so no disrespect to Norcold here. But um, as we know, some of these side-by-side -side refrigerators have a lot of problems. And one of the main reasons is, is they don't get serviced and maintained enough. So you should have these serviced annually. And you never want to park it by a tree like this because it blocks half of the ventilation and then that's not gonna be good for it. And all these needles and everything will go and end up inside uh, the refrigerator compartment and make it very messy. So I hope this video out there helps somebody better understand, uh, you know, what a failed cooling unit looks like on a Norcold refrigerator. Um, even on a Dometic, it would, you, you could find something similar. And sometimes it can be up higher and you know the clear indication is we we're looking for these signs of all this yellow so it has completely ejected everything but until next time guys this thing's going to get a new cooling unit maybe we'll make a video of replacing the cooling unit on it and we appreciate each and every one of you that watch our videos and safe travels out there be sure to subscribe and if you need any parts for your refrigerator we'll post some links below for you guys to check out and see if we can't help you there too thanks for watching